Hi, I'm Sue Sylvanians and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as calico critters. And today I'm going to talk about what I'd like to see from Sylvanian families in 2024, but also what is likely. And I also have some details of sets we may see in the first half of this year from some Japanese leaks. So firstly, thanks to Sylvanian Hollix for sharing his findings of upcoming releases on the Sylvanian family subreddit, so I could then find the leaks too. These aren't confirmed or anything, and there aren't any pictures yet either, but I think they're still worth sharing. And to note, I'm expecting fewer new things this year than we got in 2023, as, especially in the autumn and winter, there were lots of new releases to tie in to when the film came out in Japan. I split this video up in sections, so feel free to skip to a specific part of this video if you're interested in certain things. So starting with families, the first thing I'd like is for Epoch to stop separating families into two or three different sets. The flora parents and triplet babies are in a different set to the children, and the twin babies are in another set. To get the full latte cat family, I had to buy the four figure family and a play set with the brother and other baby. And to get the rain to the siblings, you'd have to buy a house. This seems to be a trend, and I would like it to end, but sadly I don't think that will happen. I would also love for there to be more grandparent figures, even just for the main families like the Walnuts and Persians, to be friends with the current Chocolate Rabbit grandparents. Looking back over Japanese releases in the last few years, we've had about four families released a year. In 2023 we had the Flora Rabbit, Slato Cats, Seals and Curly Eared Cats. The year before, in 2022, we had these four. In 2021 we had three full families, as well as the new style of horses and some re-released families in the Brightfield Goats and Tail Sheep. For families I would like to see, I would love a Highland Cow family, and I think that this is actually possible. With my very limited creative skills, I've tried to create a mock-up of what I'm imagining for this, so a brown version of the buttercup Frisian cows, with longer horns and an extra part on their heads, or even hair like the ponies. The floater seals were a big surprise last year, at least to me, so maybe Epoch will do more aquatic based animals, like a walrus. I could also see another dog family being made, but I don't think there'll be another cat family, as we had two in 2023. There's also lots of dog breeds which have never been made in Sylvanians too, like German Shepherds, Spaniels or Schnauzers. I think we're overdue a new mouse family too, I'd love to see one using the old moulds, Perhaps like this, in a pale grey or light brown colour. I'd also like for families to be completed. I'd guess at this point the seal and penguin families are only adults and babies, like the splashy otters are and the old ducks, but I would have enjoyed seeing children sized figures, especially for the seals in a colour in between the babies and adults. On to the leaks, there were initial details of a deer family and sea otter family. So starting with the deer, there have been a few over the years in the form of the old moss deer, the buckley red deers and the von elken easy buy deers which use the same mould, and I'm also counting the snowdrift frame deer which are fairly new. There are lots more types of deer in real life than I thought, so I don't know how these figures will look and if they'll be using a new mould. There seems to be listings for a deer family and baby twins to come separately. For the sea otters, in the 90s, the Van Dyke Otters were released, which had a unique mould. Then there's also been the Neptune Sea Otters, and now the Splashy Otters, which are still available. I'm not sure what a new otter family would bring, maybe if they were a darker brown like the Van Dykes that would be different enough. The listings suggest separate sets for the family and siblings, with a sibling set called the Sea Play Set, so I assume they will come with some accessory, like what came with the penguins and flora rabbits. So my second section is play sets, which tend to have an overarching theme. Last year's themes in Japan seem to be underwater and mermaids, a new colourful kindergarten series, and forest and woodland to round out the year. I still like to see more of the forest series because I love the outdoorsy nature themes. I don't have a lot of ideas for new themes, but perhaps sports with little athletic outfits and equipment, or a music and performance theme. But more specifically on play sets, we don't seem to get shop buildings anymore, and it's more little stores instead. Despite that, I'd love to see a coffee shop. I think it's wild that we've had three separate burger shops, but no coffee shops. 
I hoped that the Fontana Latte Cat family would have one, given their name, but the father Matteo seems to be preoccupied with the burger trike and cart. Maybe Mother Daniela could run her own coffee shop, or have a little pull-along cart. Unfortunately, this is not seen in the leaks. But there is a donut shop called the Delicious Donut Wagon, and a patisserie shop, and both of these are due to come out around April. The donut wagon is fine. I'm not particularly excited because there's already a donut stall which I enjoy. I definitely want to see the patisserie, but there have been so many cake shops and bakeries already that I'm unsure how it would be different. Direct translation is Sweet Pastry Chef First Cake Shop Set, so it could be like the bakery set which is meant to be an add-on to the cosy cottage. I could see this being run by an older sibling figure too, like the Liberty Dressmakers. Selfishly, I don't actually mind these wagons or stalls, because I don't have much room left for big buildings, but I know some collectors are disappointed at how Epoch seems to have moved away from the super detailed shops that we got in the flatter era. There were some more leap playsets too. First, a waterside swing set for February. This looks to come with a baby deer figure too, and has a similar name to the kindergarten swing set that came out in summer. I wonder if it might be similar to the splash and play whale, which was in the background of the Flow to Seal story pictures. And for March, there's leaked listings for two more sets. First, a bath time set with figures, and second, a sleepover set with figures. I'd love if the figures weren't babies, but I'm not confident that that will be the case. There's quite a few bathroom sets already, which could have similar furniture to this new bath time set too. And for the sleepover set, maybe it will be like Evie Hazelwood's sleepover set, which was a UK exclusive from 2012. I have this and I love the little folding mattress. Maybe this new set could be with a sleeping baby too, with its eyes closed. My next section is buildings. As I mentioned, I don't have a lot of room for big buildings, so I haven't given this part much thought. Any unique home would be great, but I do like the connectable houses, especially ones which stack. Epoch seems to have been adding more detail to some of their range of houses, like the newest version of the cosy cottage with a post box, and the revamped Red Reef Country Home, which has a secret attic. So the sweet raspberry home is surely next to be revamped. This is the smallest home currently available, and could definitely have some new features added. For other ideas, I don't know if this trend is way past it now, but a tiny home could be cute, with built-in furniture, or continue with another camper van to go with the van life content that's popular on social media. There's no leaks yet for buildings. So I'll move on to my next section, which is blind bags. These are so popular that I can't see Epoch not producing them. We've been getting two a year for the last few years, so I assume that will continue. We'd love to see a proper school or nursery theme, where babies could have uniforms and perhaps with accessories like in some of the gashapons. This easel is adorable, as is the clay play table. I would also like a savoury food theme, which could be with a bowl of noodles, or even an around the world theme with a little boba cup or something or even a Japanese street food theme, like taiyaki, the fish-shaped cakes. I just think we've seen too many desserts. But sadly, the leak suggests that the 13th in the Mystery Bag series will be the baby cake party bags. If this goes with the donut and pedestrian sets, I'm a bit disappointed, just because we've had so many cake-type items over the years, and the Baby Treat series blind bags were only a couple of years ago. I'd rather something completely new, like how the Baby Seashore Friends series and Forest series were a nice mix of costumes and regular clothes with accessories. And my final section is Other, just as a catch-all for everything else. We tend to get a couple of seasonal sets for Easter, Halloween or Christmas each year, and along those lines, an Easter egg house with Marguerite Rabbit is listed in the league with a February release date. I really like the Marguerite Rabbits, so that's great. I'm imagining this easter egg house would be similar to the gingerbread playhouse or the halloween house with marshmallow triplets just in pastel colours and some easter eggs or spring flowers on there. I like that a child figure was in the 2023 halloween set so I'd love that again and some fun costumes too. I'm not sure if this easter egg house will be with a baby or child figure or even an adult or older sibling though I think that's less likely than a baby or child. The final leak listing is for a flower princess pair, which I'm guessing will be another baby costume duo or child duo, and that's set for release in April. So that is everything. I'll just go through those leak listings again. So in February, we could see a new deer family and twins, an easter egg house with marguerite rabbit, and a waterside swing set with deer baby. 
In March, there looks to be a sea otter family and separate sea otter sibling set, then a bath time set with figures and a sleepover set with figures too. And in April, the costume flower princess bear, the new baby cake blind bags, donut wagon and a patisserie. As always, I will make more videos when there's more information available or when there are any other new releases from Sylvanian families. So I'd love to hear what you would like to see in the upcoming year and if we have any wishes in common. And also, what you think of these rumoured releases too. Thank you for watching this video. If you like Sylvanian Family's content, then subscribe to my channel as I post news, unboxings and collection updates each week.